we like this time best. Every timely tradition this second Saturday in October takes grit. It says my roots are in Oklahoma. It's not easy living behind enemy lines. I know I'm in Plano, but I'm still an Okie. Dudley and Ann Patterson are the Oklahoma Sooners superfans living in Texas. And this weekend, rivals Texas and Oklahoma square off at the Cotton Bowl. I started going to the games when I started dating him, and I've been going ever since. They've gone to every game together for a straight 40 plus years. More impressive, Dudley has gone to 72 straight rivalry games, starting at nine years old. Now that's tradition. I thought this is gonna be the year he won't make it. The pandemic meant tickets and seating for the Cotton Bowl would be limited, 25% exactly, and Dudley couldn't get in. A tradition over. Relegated to screaming at Texas fans from his couch. Can I say obnoxious? You can cut that out if that's too strong, because my daughter's one of them. The two die-hard OU fans have two children, both went to rival Texas. We didn't talk for a while. <laughs> Their daughter Mandy is always the one in burnt orange in a wall of crimson. Anne didn't want to go anyway with concerns about COVID-19. Just don't want to take that chance. What's your it's concern? not worth it. Dudley. I'm not worried. Sees it different. As long as we win. And then Thursday happened. Two days before kickoff, Mandy, their daughter turned rival, came up with a ticket for dad. You owe a Texas fan now. You know, I'm sure you know. Don't say it like that. <laughs> Don't say it like that. So tradition continues. Saturday will be Dudley's 73rd consecutive Red River rivalry game. Of course, he'll be sitting in the Texas section. You know, you'll have all that orange effect. But is that any different than where he lives now? And you'll see this ball or this cyst. In Plano. With red on and that's me right there amongst all those Texas fans. I'm Joven Panicker.